Hey guys, what's up? My name is Pete Breaker and welcome to my ultimate Sony Vegas Pro 15 render guide. In today's video, I'd like to show you how to get the absolutely best possible quality on your YouTube videos. And this video really holds true for any kind of production you might be doing. So whether you're doing gaming, cooking, how to outdoor videos, this tutorial should really help you improve your video quality and get the best out of your videos. Now, while the main goal behind this video is obviously the best possible quality, I'd still like to give you some tips on how you can actually decrease file sizes and how you can decrease render times for those of you who don't have the best of PCs or the fastest of uploads. And finally, a note for all the Sony Vegas 14 users out there, if you also want to have the best possible quality, then make sure to check out my guide on how to get the best video quality with Sony Vegas 14. I have it linked in the top right corner for you to watch. And with that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up a new project by pressing Ctrl M. And here you want to first specify the size of the footage that you're going to be using. I'm going to be using 1440p footage. So I'm going to put in 2560 times 1440 and finally 60 FPS. Now, a cool option that has been introduced with Sony Vegas Pro 15 is that you can actually disable resample on all of your clips that you will import here. Uh, this is a new feature and I definitely recommend you to actually tick this. Finally, click on start all new projects with these settings and click on OK. Now it's time to import your clips and I'm going to be using some PUBG footage here. And once you import your clips, uh, when there is a window coming up, click on no and click on always use this option. Next, when I have finished all of my edits, what I always like to do is to make sure that resampling is actually disabled. For that, you should simply press D twice, select all of the clips, right click on them, click on switches and make sure that either use project resampling or disable resample is ticked. And next, I'm going to go ahead and add some color corrector. You can find it under video FX, color corrector. I have a preset here. Um, but you can pretty much just copy paste these values. I will actually put these in the description box below so you can just copy and paste them. Just a note on the sidelines, if you're on a German system, then you have to replace the comma by a semicolon and the point by a comma. But if your system is American, then this should be the format that actually works. And what I also like to add is a bit of sharpener. You can find it again under video effects and sharpen. I once again have a preset but you can basically just put the Vegas sharpen amount to 0.05. Obviously, if you want to use any effects on your clips is highly personal. I just like to add them to add a little bit more contrast and a little bit more sharpen on my videos. But once you're happy and finished with your edits, it's time to render. So what I always like to do is I always like to select the region that I want to render with this loop region here, because I usually have some chunk to the right side um, from the process of editing. But obviously you could also just render out the entire clip. Now, if you want to render out the entire clip, what you have to do is go to File, Render As, go to Render Options and deselect Render Loop Region only. But because I like to use the loop region, I'm going to keep this ticked. Now, in here you have many choices regarding the format. What I like to use is the new Magic AVC AAC encoder. Um, so click on this, click on Internet HD, it doesn't really matter which of these, and click on Customize Template. Now, the first thing I would recommend is to use a custom frame size. Uh, if you're using the HD 1080p, sometimes YouTube can have an issue with your video. So to be sure, just click on custom frame size. And if you're using 1080p footage, use 1920 by 1080p. But because we're obviously using 2K resolution footage, I'm going to put in 2560 and 1440. Don't tick allow source to adjust frame size. Use the high profile. Use 60 FPS as the frame rate. Don't allow the source to adjust frame rate because this can sometimes lead to 30 FPS videos on YouTube. Use a pixel aspect ratio of one. And finally, let's get to the encoder settings. Now with Sony Vegas 15, it's finally possible to use the NVIDIA GPU accelerated rendering function, that is the NVNC codec for your videos. And this is really amazing because the render times go down a lot. So if you do have an NVIDIA GPU, then I highly recommend you to use the NV encoder. You then use the NVNC preset high quality and the NVNC mode VBR high quality. 
I've actually tested this encoder with lower qualities here, and for some reason this always likes to jump out. Um, so I've tested this with lower qualities, and the difference in render time is about 5 seconds per minute video. So I would definitely, definitely recommend you to use the high quality and VBR high quality settings. Now let's talk about the bit rates, and this is really kind of the holy grail when it comes to rendering videos for YouTube. Because if you have too high bitrate settings, then your video is so big that YouTube has to encode it so much that the quality will actually deteriorate uh, compared to when you would have chosen a lower quality. So in order to find out what the perfect bitrate settings are, I have actually uploaded around 20 to 30 videos that I have rendered with different render settings. I have then re-downloaded the videos and compared on my computer frame to frame which video actually had the highest quality. So this table gives you a lot of very juicy details. For example, we can see the render time required to render a one minute clip. We can see that rendering a one minute clip with the main concept encoder is around five times longer than when you have an Nvidia GPU. What you can also see is that when increasing the bitrate settings, obviously file size increases. Uh, but interestingly enough, even though we increased the bitrate settings, the time to render the video actually didn't really increase all that much when you're using the graphics card for rendering. Now this is in stark contrast to when using the CPU for rendering, where render times actually strongly increase when you increase the bitrate settings. Now with all of these videos I could find out that the best possible quality on YouTube with the lowest file size is actually 50 million bitrate average and 60 million bitrate max if you're using a 2K resolution or 30 million and 40 million with 1K. Now, for those of you interested, I have actually linked this spreadsheet in the description below such that you can actually go and check it out yourself. But let's go back to the actual render settings. So as you could see on that list, I had a recommended maximum bitrate setting of 60 million bits per second and an average recommended bitrate setting of 50 million bits per second. Next, let's go to the audio tab. You want to match the sample rate with the actual sample rate of your footage and use the standard bitrate. And you can even go a bit higher if you want to, but it's really not necessary for YouTube videos. Now, if you don't know what the sample rate on your recording is, what you can do is you can right click on the audio, you can click on properties, click on general, and on the stream, you can find the actual sample rate of your recording. But coming back to the last thing we want to change in the render settings, which is actually in the project tab. Here you should set the video render quality to best. Now once you've finished all of these custom settings, what you want to do is you want to give it a new name. So for example, 2K YouTube and then click on the save icon. And with that you've finished all of your settings and you can hit render. Now as you can see this renders very fast. This is almost real time render speed. And this is mainly due to me having a rather beefy GPU. I have the GTX 1080 in my system, but if you have just any NVIDIA graphics card, then I'm sure your videos are actually also going to be sped up in terms of render times. Obviously, if the render time is still too long for you, you can always go ahead and remove the effects, which would drastically decrease the time needed for rendering. I hope these tips helped you get even better quality up on your videos. If it actually did, make sure to leave me a link to your videos. I'm really looking forward to see what you're actually doing with these settings. If you're still struggling to get good quality on your videos, then don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I would gladly help you improve your quality even further. But with that, I'd like to thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video.